But yeah, I can see myself in her butt. Hey, what's up, you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Marvel Select action figure review on the Marvel Comics Black Panther Disney Store exclusive. If you're trying to pick this up, you can get it at MarvelStore.com or your local Disney store. On the packaging, we get this nice comic version of Black Panther, and then on the side, we get another image right over there with some panels in the background. And then on the very, what does it say right there? It says, despite the fact that torn ligament and bruised muscles signal their ache. Okay, and on the back, you can see the figure right over there and it says marvelstore.com all right let's get to it and crack this thing open and here is the black panther out of the packaging i really like the sculpt on this figure uh, the articulation bothers me a bunch but not so much to the point where i feel like i cannot get him into any dynamic poses as i think this is a fairly dynamic pose right over here having him propped up on the mafex stand i really like the paint apps on this though a lot get some very nice dark blue mixed in with black and you get all kinds of nicely sculpted details throughout. Now it does come with one accessory which is this base right over here which is terribly out of scale compared to the Black Panther figure. Eh, this is very very small but you know it could work pretty well if you had like a dio set up you know you want to put this in the background or something it would be pretty cool but I like how it's sculpted out and painted it looks really good and you can see all kinds of different colors of green right over here for the leaves you even get some green mixed in with the bark piece of this little tree over here some moss growing on it and everything. Uh, the you get one peg sticking out right over there so you can have the figure standing on it and looking at all the vegetation looks really good over here too so uh, what they did over here actually I think is very well done it's just really not big enough but you know I can understand why they wouldn't go too huge I mean it'd be a really massive tree if they wanted to get it perfectly in scale but as a prop you know it's not bad now only just now I've noticed that this figure is missing just a little bit of white paint on his left eye over there and it's just a little bit off but I mean really that's my only gripe when it really comes to the paint apps on this figure. I really like the paint a lot. And I really appreciate the sculpted detail as well. Looking around his eye over there, you can see all those little grooves sculpted in there. I just think that looks really good. You can see the chin and everything. You can see his mouth a little bit underneath the mask. I like how the ears came out over here too. Looking on the back of the figure, you can really see that blue paint mixed in there with the black. It looks really good. Looking on the back of the figure over here too. This is just awesome looking. Nice muscle definition over there. And I really like the little added pieces that's making it look like it's a suit over the muscles. We get some stretching going on over here too. That looks really nice. And they have all these little lines sculpted right over here for the gloves, which is very comic accurate. I think that's good. I feel like these lines could have been a little bit thicker though. Because from looking at it from farther away, they kind of disappear. So I think they could have gone a little bit thicker with the lines or added a darker black paint in the seams just to make them stand out a bit more. So yeah, I take it back. That is my other complaint about the, uh, the paint apps anyway. And uh, we get some more really good looking muscle definition over here. It's really nice, very good looking figure. I wish some of these, I wish the fingers right here were splayed out just a little bit more. I feel like they're curled in just a little bit too much. If they're just out a little bit more, I would have liked that. Uh, like on this side, it does look better, I think. But you know, not too terrible. I gotta say, just overall, this is not my favorite Black Panther figure, but I still think it's a good figure, you know? Anyway, you get the seam coming all the way down right over here. And looking at his boots, we get a little bit more extra blue added to that. So yeah, not looking too bad. And then he does have peg holes out underneath his feet, along with some treads sculpted in there. Here's the last look at the back of the figure, Black Panther butt, and then there's the back of the head again. Now as I mentioned earlier, I'm disappointed in the articulation of this guy, especially with the head movement. For an agile character like the Black Panther, I would like his head to be able to move up, and it's just not moving up more than that. Uh, his head does move down that far though, you also get head movement moving side to side, and you also get some neck pivot or head pivot right over here too. His shoulders move outward that much. He can move them forward. You get a bicep swivel, single jointed elbow. You get rotation at the forearm as well as rotation at the wrist and it does hinge up and down and I wish we'd gotten, I don't know, I wish they had saved this point of articulation right here at the forearm and given it a double jointed elbow. That would have been nice to have that. Anyway, we get a diaphragm joint that turns side to side over here. It does move forward a bit so that's good. It does move back a little bit less than it does move forward. Uh, you also get some pivot 
pit right over here. Get a waste swivel here too. Get the big old gaping crotch pits that move outward that much. Then another disappointing part of the articulation is that his legs don't move farther up than that. And I really wish that you can get his legs kicking up forward a lot more than that because I want him to get into that jumping pose that we see in the Civil War movie trailer. You know that would be cool. Anyway, you get an upper thigh cut right over there. We get the double jointed knees looking pretty good. He does not have a boot cut over here, but he does have ankles that move down. They do move up and he does have a little bit of ankle pivot. Actually, he can get him into some pretty good stances just standing on one foot. Now, this being a Marvel Select figure, you can see Black Panther is standing at seven and a half inches tall. Then for your Marvel Select comparison, here's Black Panther compared to the Avenging Captain America. We get Winter Soldier and the Spectacular Spider-Man. You can see that Spidey's the shortest one out of these four. And then for your Black Panther comparison, here's the Toy Biz Marvel Legends Black Panther along with the Hasbro Marvel Legends Black Panther next to the Marvel Select over here. And I like all three of these figures, but I have an issue with all three of them as well. So they all have their own separate things that bother me about them, but I still like them. I can't say I have a definite favorite out of these three. If you do, please let me know in the comments below which one's your favorite. And then here's Black Panther next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Ooh, Spidey sense is tingling. I feel good. I knew that I would feel There he is in a leaping pose. Not looking too shabby. Uh, not exactly the angle that I'd like for it. So, you know, I can't say this is a great figure. It's a fairly decent Black Panther, though. I really do like the paint sculpt on it. I hope you guys liked this review. I tried something new today with the dancing Spider-Man. Never done that before. So if it came out weird, forgive me. I don't know. Just had to try something new. If you want more videos from the Sharkmas Prime YouTube channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe subscribe button right over there. If you want to see yesterday's review on the Kotobo Kia Artifacts plus Captain Phasma Super Shiny, click that button over there. As well as I did a review two days ago for a Throwback Thursday, I reviewed the 90s Aquaman from DC Universe Classics. If you want to support this YouTube channel and be part of exclusive giveaways and exclusive videos, you can go ahead and check out the Patreon account by clicking right over there. And if you want to see a photo gallery of images from this review, go to MarvelousNews.com. I'll catch you guys later. Peace! You can see that Spidey's only. Ah.